Hello everyone, my name is Shane, my online name is Lanzer, and today is by the numbers Numua Toi. I've been noticing that every time I open up Excel, it makes some of my text, the default text color black, and even if I change the color to white, like I want to, and I save it, when I reopen it, it again turns back to that. So if anyone knows what that problem is or why, it, why it's doing that, Google searching is not helping me figure that out. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. So to start off, I've invested $106,000. My return has so far been $41,000, or 39% of that, 106 grand. I have $64,000 remaining, 61% of that, 106 grand. And I have a projected return of $75,000 in excess of the $41,000. let us start first with control finance. There is actually an update on Control Finance this time around. Uh, it's different than the what you would normally expect. While the website is still unavailable, someone in my BitPetite Post Performance Analysis video pointed me to a Control Finance refund post. And he says, as a general director, I ask you to keep your, your peace of mind and wait. Okay, but the really interesting part is that when I sent a message, I got this. Please send us tip and info to Ambus Limited, new username, send how much was lost, and then wait for the refund. So, I went to Ambus Limited, created a new account. You'll notice that it says Ambus Limited, but also Ambus Limited plus Control Finance. But some, it, it looks exactly like the Control Finance website. So I created an account, I sent a help ticket, to Ambus Limited saying this is how much I, I lost and will you refund it as you say here and that's where we are I just sent it about 15 minutes ago so that is out to control finance slash Ambus Limited to see what they do with that information and as of right now I still have it very unlikely on the far right hand side and as you can see I haven't been paid in 33 days not able to access my wallet not able to confirm anything was paid as of yesterday so that's control finance I will update you as I receive updates on this so let's move on to BitConnect. I finished the 120 day evaluation period. At the end of it all, my average interest rate was 1.22% against the advertised 1.29%. My return on investment was 142% compared against the 154.80%. My actual return was 48,000. It says 28, but when the capital release hit, it gave me back the 20 grand that I originally invested. So compared to the 50,000, I was about $2,000 underneath the advertised return. So I was quite happy with that, the performance of BitConnect. Over the course of time, it it ended up give, actually giving me an acceptable margin of error from what it quoted me four months ago. So the next time around, you will see this investment number has changed to second because I reinvested my capital investment and I believe this time around I will start a reinvestment strategy that I've been putting together. If you download the BitConnect tracker here, you'll see there are some new tabs down at the bottom, compounding interest. I've been, com I've been calculating what it was that I think I would receive if I started compounding interest at the zero compounding it once it reaches a thousand then five thousand and then ten thousand and more to come on that but it looks like the five thousand dollar reinvestment might be the most profitable over the long term as you can see it's slightly underneath the one thousand but if you go two cycles the difference becomes much greater to the tune of about thirty thousand so more to come on that as I scrutinize these numbers just a little bit further to make sure that they're sound and then I will likely 
try a new strategy with BitConnect this time around. And if you wanted to see these, my post analysis of BitConnect after this first investment iteration, I did a de very detailed video, which you can look up in my cryptocurrency playlist. Next up is BitPetite. I finished the 43 day evaluation period. There I did a very detailed post performance analysis, which you can also find in the cryptocurrency playlist that I have on the YouTube channel and the net return was $15,000 against the $16,000 advertised by BitPetite, 147% uh, against the 156% that changed from 147% and uh, the video tells you why that amount was adjusted upwards. So all in all, that was within an acceptable margin of error, although there were still a number of inconsistencies that I deemed to be notable and ended up with uh, would lens or reinvest with caution but on the left hand side towards very likely genesis mining has not started yet so that that eva evaluation period doesn't begin until the 31st of october going to usi tech i have not broken even i've accrued 10 days out of the 196 day evaluation period there are 186 days left total interest paid out is 0.11 bitcoin I need to adjust some of these numbers because there's a calculation difference between Bitcoin and dollar figure. Total fees incurred is $9. Average fee per sprint is 3.49%. Average daily interest rate is 0.96%. Realized return on investment so far is 9.62%. My net return so far has been $600.54 or 12% return on my $4,900 investment. I need to fix the gross because right now USI Tech is paying out in Bitcoin and I, I need to find a way to accurately assess the dollar figure or convert my actuals to date to a Bitcoin output instead of a dollar output. So we'll see how I do that in the future. As far as the ledger goes, I have accrued Bitcoin each day and it's as, the, as you see, the average is 96% as of now. Some days it reached over 1%, but by and large it stayed at the at the 0.8 to 0.9% range. My first sprint was successfully completed, and as you can see, the, the withdrawal to the actual exchange there's a little bit of a difference there, but it wasn't the difference that was the issue. It was really the process, and I'll show you why in a minute. The total fee rate was 3.49%, which was because the fee rate that USI Tech assesses is 2% per withdrawal. Tacked on with the external wallet of 1.49%, that equals 3.49% of the payout deducted as a fee. The interesting thing I discovered with USI Tech, if you're looking to track your performance, what you need to do is you need to go in the Packages tab, and then this little button here on the left, you click it, and it will show you your daily payout here, and the percentage that you earned. And then it shows you all the different stuff. The Withdrawal tab underneath it, this is where I started encountering just a little bit of difficulty, and, and that is because so when you go to withdrawal this is what you'll be presented with so at the time my balance was that exact 0.11386 bitcoin so i tried to withdraw 0.11386 bitcoin and then it says two percent withdrawal fee will be charged okay fine put in my wallet hit withdraw and then i get this error amount is more than available balance so then I wonder why why would that be? I'm I'm trying to withdraw what's in my account and I realize that what USI Tech is not doing is it's not automatically deducting a 2% withdrawal fee to withdraw from USI Tech. What it is requiring you to do is to deduct that 2% yourself. Otherwise, it'll say that you're trying to withdraw more than you can 
which will require a manual calculation in order to assess the fee. What I decided to do was combine the process so that when you get a gross withdrawal here, which will then automatically deduct 2%, which is equals that amount, which will give you this amount that you can withdraw from USI Tech. Now, when I went to go put that number, 0 0.110034, in my withdrawal amount, as you can see, the number that it told me that it would withdraw is 0 0.11223, which is different than the amount that I put in, 0 0.110034. So I waited until my external wallet received the amount, and the amount the external wallet received was the amount I originally inserted into the withdrawal box here, not what USI Tech says that it sent here on the right. So that just added to the confusion, but in the end, the math checked out because it was what I sent. And then from there, it was the normal process into the bank account. So that was quite confusing. Some other things I noticed is that this website is a little bit difficult to, to navigate around. It seems like the two that I'm the two tabs that you should focus on are the withdrawal and the commission tab here. I don't I surfed through these different pages, but not they weren't very helpful. The reports tab seems to be more about commissions and and the website frequently tells you that the site cannot be reached. The dashboard is a, a bit confusing because it doesn't really tell you things. It's all over the place. So this is where you find the, the relevant information. And then somewhere here, apparently that something happens at a thousand. I'm going to do the car bonus. I don't intend to pursue that. But even though the process was a bit clunky at the end, I was able to successfully withdraw and I was, I did receive a payout every day although it was under the 1% advertised. So we're off to a sort of rocky start, but things are progressing with USI Tech. Oscarbit, I have been unable to confirm any payout since day one. And that's because every time I try to log in, I get this I get this password login failed error and no matter what login information, password information and CAPTCHA I use, I am unable to get in to my account to verify that I'm being paid correctly. The site still seems like it's functioning. I've sent numerous help support tickets and the last correspondence I received from Oscar Bit was that expect soon to for it to be fixed that was over a week ago and I have not heard anything back since then so as a result my woodlands are investigating is very unlikely so I would advise caution if you were thinking about investing in Oscar bit because I have not been able to confirm that I have been paid anything up until this point and coin Reum has begun but I will not get paid from Coimrium until 30 October because I chose the monthly package that pays once per month so I'm still awaiting 30 October in order to assess Coimrium's performance that sums up just about everything that's been happening so far the number of investment opportunities has increased from four to seven and as you can see performance is tracking on others some things haven't started yet other things stopped performing and then there are some things that have been performing to varying degrees so this crypto investment adventure is turning into to be quite the quite the fun experience and i look forward to seeing what happens next that's everything i have for this video have a great day goodbye